What's up guys, it's Joseph Califano with JVC Construction. I'm doing my best impression of John Joffrey this week. He's out of town. Right now we are sitting in a West Austin remodel. We are currently in the basement and we are going up two stories from here. And today we are doing retaining walls. We started off the day by pouring our largest retaining wall that's sitting over there at 710. This one was a little bit of a bear. We poured it in stages, making sure that our forms are tight, everything works, and we're able to kind of cure and we're not just souping it in there. And then we come down right here to one foot. We're gonna have a nice bay window here and it's gonna look out to the yard. This is gonna be a bedroom that I'm currently standing in. And then we come back up. This is something the engineer wanted uh, for us to 90 off of here. So we come back up on our retaining walls here and yeah, this is gonna be a bedroom. It's gonna be a nice family room. We're gonna have a bathroom over here and it's gonna be pretty nice for the clients. This family room is gonna walk directly out into the backyard. We're gonna have a nice floor to ceiling slider here. <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna be good. Moving over to here, this was the next part of our day, is we got all of our forms up on the existing foundation. So what we had to do that was interesting during the grading process is we had to pour these piers in each corner. When we were grading, we realized that these piers didn't go down that deep and this foundation that was existing needed to be supported. We did that early in the process, finished all of our flat work here. We took out thousands of pounds of dirt here. And with that, you always are subject to moving. So. We did a pier here and there to make sure that everything stayed, stayed good to go, the house stayed intact, and now what we're doing is tying back into those piers and the existing foundation to pour the rest of our wall. What we do with these forms is we put them up against these walls and we cut these holes that you see in all of them. That's how we're gonna backfill. So on the front face, it's gonna look nice and flat, and on the back side, it's gonna take whatever shape that that dirt is there. Once we get all of our concrete in, we vibrate it all out, get all the air bubbles out, make sure that the structural integrity is good. When we peel back our forms, then we'll go ahead and inspect, make sure it was done correctly, nothing's crumbling, we don't have a lot of air pockets, and then we can move on. On this wall, this was the last portion of our day. Um, we are still waiting on another half truck that's supposed to come this afternoon, um, and then we're gonna finish off this wall. So this is gonna be the exterior wall. We're gonna have some transom windows here, and we have eight foot ceiling heights down here. So we have some transom windows that are, we're trying to get to fit as close as possible to here. That's a design element that we're battling through. Next week is going to be framing and we are so excited to get to that point. That's when the biggest kind of transformation on the project, aside from drywall and finish out, happens. That's when, you know, for us, getting past foundation is amazing, but for the clients especially, they get to start seeing the project really take shape. So once that happens, we're expecting about two weeks, but that could be as soon as Tuesday, and that goes up quick. So one thing that happened today uh, that isn't ideal is while we were pouring this giant retaining wall, um, obviously we had bracing up spec for what we needed, but as we started to pour, we noticed that it started to separate and we had a little bit of movement. So if we don't catch that early and we have concrete cure and we have a crooked retaining wall, that throws off everything after that, right? It's gonna be kind of a house of cards. You know, this isn't level, this isn't straight. We're gonna be battling that all the way up. Framers are gonna have to be aware of things like that. So we were able to get everything shored up, but that is why we have so much bracing on this now. And yeah, luckily we caught it early. You know, the guys are awesome and you know, we really trust them and they're not just gonna let something happen and, and collect their check and leave. You know, they, they take a lot of pride in, in making sure that everything's done right. So a little bit more about this project. Obviously we are in the weeds with foundation and framing, 
But what this project ultimately is gonna be is a huge addition, three bedrooms, two baths. We have a family great room down here. We're gonna be building a laundry room here. We're gonna be building a gym and we're doing a full kitchen remodel. Um, the kitchen got you know, some structural reframing. We installed some LVLs to open up the space and we are gonna have beautiful cabinetry brought to you by none other than Soul Solutions. They're gonna be again on this project. So this project is not just this you know, shell of an addition. It's going to be a pretty high-end finished home. Um, we'll also be doing minor touch-ups to the rest of the home as far as some tiles, some vanities, things like that. And then the whole house is getting repainted on the interior. All of the small drywall is gonna get touched up. The goal of this house is gonna be basically making it look brand new. You know, we really want to make this stand out and obviously it's in a beautiful area. So some people would consider the house or addition that we're building to be the size of a full house. And we are adding that onto what is already three bedroom with a huge family room, three bath, giant kitchen. So we're borderline making a mansion. This thing is going to be nearing 6,000 square feet. So it is going to be amazing. And especially once we get everything landscaped back here. It's gonna be an oasis, especially for whoever gets to take on this basement. We're gonna be able to walk out, have awesome views. Yeah, and as you guys can see, we're gonna be attaching our addition to the existing house and that current carport boat port situation. So that boat port is actually going to be enclosed and it's gonna be turned into a laundry room and a gym. So we're gonna have a laundry room that's gonna be closest to us by where that metal gate is and we're gonna have a gym on the other side. We'll have two huge bay windows in there. Um, we're gonna get all new flooring in there and it's going to be an amazing conditioned space. We'll be tearing off all of that hardy that you see there so it'll look like an, in the interior of the home and the exterior will match everything that we're doing. As you can see, we got our forms broke. Next step is framing. This is, like I said, a very important step for not only us, but for the clients. It is when you start to see the project take shape. So first thing we'll do is everything looked good with the foundation. We got a few minor touch-ups here and there, but what we'll start doing is checking square of the building and taking our measurements. We gotta make sure that everything is still according to plan. At every step of the way, you're going to check level, plumb, square. That is very important for getting a, you know, a good quality build at the very end. So that's what we're doing here now is we have our framing contractor up here. Um, we are gonna start walking, prepping, measuring, making sure that we are good to go because we'd like to get started tomorrow. And once we get started, it goes up fast. We're thinking two weeks, maybe going into the third week, but you will see a huge transformation going forward. It's gonna make this place look completely different. It's gonna feel nice and cohesive, which is a super important aspect of when you're adding onto a home. It's very easy to make it seem like an addition, to make it seem like it wasn't intentional. And our goal is to make it seem like it was always a part of the house. Yeah. What about this? Only one, only one. 